Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today, colleagues, we had a great opportunity to get to know each other, hear from our governor on what the uh, agenda she has uh, planned. Uh, and opening day is always a, a time to, to get to see a vision of where we're going to head as a state. Um, we do have three branches. The governor has pledged to work with our branch. I did enjoy hearing, as I'm sure all of you did, her discussion about rural Oregon and hearing about uh, the investments that she believes that this legislature should make in rural Oregon. Um, she continued to uh, emphasize the fact that there has been an economic recovery in Portland that has not been seen by the areas outside of Portland and especially by rural Oregon. And I was grateful that she said that. Now it's time for deeds. As we all know, words are comforting and they are incredibly important. But it is what we do together that's going to make a difference in the lives of constituents as diverse as those in Coos Bay, to Tillamook, to Prineville, to Ontario, to Lakeview, and the like. Our constituents that I just mentioned in the rural areas have far too long been under-resourced and have been trying to make a living keeping up with the prosperity of Portland. And it sounds to me that their plea has been heard by Kate Brown. So I look forward to standing on Sine Die, or the day before Sine Die, and joining so many colleagues, both Republicans and Democrats from rural areas, and giving thanks to Governor Kate Brown for the legislation she advocated for, she worked for, and she signed into law. And if that doesn't happen, then I will stand at this desk and point out the fact that once again, a promise has been made to rural Oregon that has not been kept. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. This is not a time to make a promise that you won't deliver. Colleagues, welcome to the legislature. I look forward to getting to know you, and I look forward to locking arms with you and making sure that we do right by all of our constituents in our beloved state. Thank you, Madam Speaker.